hello guys welcome back to my channel it's another beautiful tutorial for you guys today i'm going to be showing you how to make turban with hairline at the front of the turban so i got this inspiration and i was like let me give it a trial and the outcome was so beautiful so the first thing you need for this cap is your soft wig cap like i showed you guys at the beginning of this video the next you need a hair pad so this hair pad you can get it in the market so i think they have ready made in the market so if you don't know how to do this particular one you can go to the market and get the ready made hair pad with soft cap is in the market so guys the next thing i'll do is to start sewing this pad to the cap so make sure you sew it very firm and um, after sewing it then we'll proceed to the next thing before i continue my name is Ukaria, youtube name black and shine i am a youtuber based in abuja nigeria i do a lot of things in this channel like gele makeup wig vlog and many other interesting videos you would love if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe so that you become part of this family and when you do remember to turn on the notification bell in that way you'll be notified whenever we drop a new video so after sewing it and making sure that the sewing is firm i will proceed to the front of the soft cap remember this is a soft cap you can get it in the market is sold for 100 naira or 150 thereabouts is two in one so i'm going to go ahead and line the front of the cap you can use your marker or concealer here i'm using concealer to mark it just mark where you are going to fix the hair so guys i want you to also remember that the pad is sold at the back of the cap that is the back of the cap and the marking is at the front of the cap so this is a series from expression this is color one i don't need much it's just one or two uh, pieces out of this bundle that is what i need so the cut i gave it was cut four just cut cut four cut one then you cut again at the center that is all after that i'm going to use a medium size crochet pin to crochet the front of the cap where the line started that is where i'm going to stop guys when i'm done with the crocheting at the front of the cap i'm going to like trim it a little bit but the main trimming is coming so this is just so i bought this material this is a very thick material i don't know the name so fashion designers in the house you can help out with the name of this material but this second one now i bought i went to the market i told them to give me a lycra material and this is what they gave me i don't know if it is the original lycra but that is what they gave me and i have this thick one i don't know the name so if you are a fashion designer kindly help with the name of this material so i'm going ahead to use this soft one so the next thing i'll do now is to use this soft one to cover the hair that i just crocheted at the front of this i'm going to cover it in a way that the hairline will be showing a little bit yes and i'll make sure that i use this material to cover the soft cap as you can see on the screen i'm just showing you so that you see it very well i'll use my pins to pin it down in order to avoid pulling out then after that i'm going to go ahead and make a pleat at the front i'll just make like four lines pleat at the front let's wash the pleating So when I'm done with the pleating, I'm going to use my pin to, you know, secure it because I wouldn't want it to like unravel when I'm working at the back of the cap. So make sure you pleat 
very well the reason why i pleated it i want it to you know look like as if there is a ruffle there so after that i'm going to move over to the back of the cap then what i'll do now is tie it twice to make sure that it's well secured as you can see just watch on the screen you will understand what i'm doing i'm tying the first one then i'm going to tie it for the second time yes that is all the cap is well secured now then after that i'm going to go ahead and use one hand of the scarf you know place it immediately after the part as you can see on the screen then make sure that the ending of the material is well covered inside sorry make sure that you fold it inside so that it will be neat then the next thing i'll do is to use my needle and thread to start tagging it when i fold i'll tag like as if you are making a ruffle scarf when you fold then you tag tight it very well and um, cut the thread fold another place tight it very well and then cut the thread you continue doing that until one hand of the scarf is finished make sure you cover the pad at the back of the scarf very well so keep watching to understand better So guys when i'm done with one part of the scarf i'm going to go ahead and start the second part as you can see on the screen i'm going to like use it to cover the way i did with the first one when you ruffle like you fold it together you tag tight it very well and then cut the thread you continue doing that until all the scarf is finished that is all for the back of the cap until we come there again the making of this scarf is very very easy when i wore it it made me look so classy and i love the way i look because it's very easy it has made everything easy for me going to church is very easy meeting occasion wedding wherever you want to go this scarf can stand out be it uh, our traditional english wears whatever you are wearing this scarf is you know perfect for that occasion so going to church many people find it very difficult you know to tie their scarf so this is the best scarf that you can rock to church and you won't be late you know women we know we like to be late you'll be giving our guys excuses i'm tying my scarf so no need of that excuses again because you have your red made to burn with airline at the front so you can just rock it at any time this scarf i have a lot of style for it if you want to see more of this uh, to ban you can just drop a comment yes i want to see more and i'll drop it for you guys because i have a lot of styles that i want to show you guys and if you are making to ban this is another means for you to make cool cash because people love it so i'm telling you this too bad is very very beautiful so as you can see the finished part of the sewing with needle when we finish now we are going to work at the front of this scarf then after that we still had more things at the back then is ready So 
guys when i'm done with the back of the turban i'm going to walk you know the place i folded earlier okay should i say i pleated earlier i used my pin to secure it i'm going to go ahead and use my needle and thread to tag the just once tagging knot it and cut the thread that is all then we proceed to the side where i folded inside to cover the soft cap i'm going to use my thread you know to tag it as well run the thread inside to make sure that the thread is not visible at the front so after that that is all for this scarf your scarf is you know well secured with the soft cap then we can now go ahead and trim the front of the head so just watch on the screen you understand better So guys, I'm done with sewing. The material and that of the soft cap is joined together now. So the next thing I'll do is to trim the front of the hair. If you want the uh, front hairline to be smaller, you can just trim it depending on what you want. For me, I just want mine to be moderate and that is what I did here. But if you want to trim yours to be smaller, you can as well do that. So after that, I'm just going to lay the front head down a little bit onto the material which was on top of the soft cap then sew it the reason why i'm doing this is because i want it you know to look as if both of them come together not to stand out on its own so after that i'm done with the front head then we move over to the back head remember to trim to your taste this is the way i want it i love it and it fits me better so if you know what works for you, just go for it. So after trimming, we are going to work finally at the back of the tuban. the next thing i'll show you guys is this build i bought these beads in the market yes where they are selling beads you can just go there and make your choice then i have my spa glue i'm just going to use this bead to decorate the turban you know i'm using spa glue for now but spa glue is not the right glue to use for it but this is what is available for now so i'm using it to make it beautiful as you can see on the screen there is a gum you can use for this if I'm making this for anybody, for a client, I'm going to use that same gum. But for now, I'm using this. We have come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly share, like, comment and tell me what you think. Will you rock it? If you are given the opportunity, can you make it for yourself? And do you think the trend is going to be better than the ordinary tuban that you know? So just tell me what you think about it. Thank you guys for all your support. I appreciate you and I am grateful. See you guys on my next video. Bye.